What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with brand new AEW action figure news. Yes, the news has been pouring in and pouring in because of what time of the year it is. It is San Diego Comic Con exclusive time. It is San Diego Comic Con time where we're going to get a lot of reveals, man. It, I, I don't think we're going to be getting a ton of AEW reveals at this event, but we are going to be getting a ton of WWE reveals as we do every year. We'll be covering it all here on the channel for you guys as well, and we'll break it all down as we always do. But if you guys missed it yesterday, we had an insane thing happen on Twitter and Instagram yesterday when a reveal happened, and we're going to break it all down for you here and give you every single detail about it. Very bummy, also kind of good, but also very bummy, and it kind of it kind of went bad, and then it went really good, kind of, and then we were kind of still pissed off, and then it went back to really bad, and now we're, we, don't, we don't know really what to think. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below, but yesterday, Jeremy Padauer, he tweeted out that he would be revealing the SDCC exclusive for Jazzwares in general, not just the AEW, but all the different figure lines that Jazzwares deals with. So that is what he got on there and was discussing. So we were all waiting around, waiting around, waiting. You know, what in the hell is this man about to show us? Well, he finally unveils it. And when he unveils it, we got this Brody Lee figure with this figure cover. And when we first saw it, we were like, oh man, this looks really excellent. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this Brody Lee cover. It looks amazing. What does the figure look like underneath? Well, Brad he uploads more images of this thing along with this image. I thought the, the figure sleeve looks really cool, so I was like, okay, let's see what this figure looks like. You pull it off, Brad, and it was this image right here. Brody Lee, as you see him, in the black singlet, in the gray pants, with the papers. AEW and Match Series 3 on the side of the packaging. SDCC sticker on there, and I was just sitting there. I think everybody in the community's just mouth and jaw hit the floor like, uh. Super excited, and then just, uh. So we're looking at this thing and we're like, what in the hell is this? Everybody was replying to it and we're like, is this not the exact same figure as AEW and Match Series 3? Is this not the exact figure? What is different about this? No new head sculpt, no repaint. No attire change, nothing. They just slapped an SDCC sticker on it, put a figure sleeve on it with the Brody face, and called it an exclusive. And everybody was pretty pissed off. Everybody was like, what in the hell? And I even took to, to different social media posts. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter, definitely go follow me over there at My Damn Toys. But I gave my thoughts on these. I was very confused. Everybody was confused. Didn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, later on, Jeremy came back and was like, I am an idiot. I put up the the wrong photos or he said something like that where he he accidentally posted the wrong photos i don't know if he did it on purpose or if he did it accidentally but uh how do you get an how do you get an aew and match series 3 Brody lee with an sdcc sticker on it accidentally you know what i mean I, I just don't see how that happens accidentally but then he ends up uploading this vignette or this video package i don't know if i can get it in this video if i if i can i'll play it right now for you It's the real and the actual SDCC Brody Lee figure, and it is a whole lot better than what we were expecting, kind of. And I'll explain to you why it's kind of good and why it's kind of bad, and we'll break down all of those different things, of course, but... Let's get into it. So as you guys can see, it is a Brody Lee figure. It is coming with the TNT Championship. It does have the figure sleeve on it. Brody Lee with his face image on there. Dark Order logos. You got the forever across the bottom. Very sick packaging. I like the packaging a lot. But this figure closely resembles the AEW and Match Series 3 Chase Brody Lee figure. 
a lot more similar to that, but it is a different gear. It, it's definitely different. I'll do some comparisons throughout the video. I'll bring the figures up side by side so you guys can see the differences in what these are. But this figure went to being very easily to obtain to really, really hard to obtain. And I'll get, a, I'll get into that right now as we break it all down. You guys can see that this is a really sweet gear. I like this Brody Lee figure. Of course, it is the same head sculpt. It's the same accessories, but it is a repaint, which is what San Diego Comic-Con exclusives usually are. They're not over the top crazy things. Sometimes you will get that. That does happen, absolutely. But in this case, usually, it is just a repaint. They'll take an existing figure and they'll repaint it. They'll slightly mod it, give it some nicer packaging, and call it a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. That's what we have for this Brody Lee figure, and I, I actually like this figure a lot. I'm gonna, you know, do my damnedest to get my hands on it, but when it was originally just the Unmatched Series 3 figure, I was like, oh, well, this will be a piece of cake to get my hands on. Like, who's who's gonna want this figure? Who's gonna want this figure? Because it's the exact same figure. I Everybody out there thought that they had released the same exact figure three times. You guys know that we have the Unmatched Series 3. You have the Negative 1 and Brody Lee 2 pack from the Ringside Exclusive, you know, in the purple packaging, the beautiful commemoration, and then you would have had the San Diego Comic-Con Exclusive, which would have been the third time seeing that figure, and now, since they changed it, this figure is going to be a lot more sought after, man. I thought this figure was going to be easy to get my hands on, didn't even bat an eye at it, and now that they have changed it, or that they accidentally thought that, they have flipped everybody over, because I actually like this gear. I like, you know, everything that they have going on with this. Even though it is slightly a repaint, I have to get my hands on it for the complete collection. Now, there are a few different things to cover about this figure. Like, first of all, not only is it a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, but it is a one of 1,000 exclusive, which means you're going all the way back to Series 3 or Series 4 of the AEW Unrivaled collection, where there's only 1,000 of the Chase variants. You guys remember, it used to be 500 and 1,000, then they changed it to 3,000, 5,000 because people were upset about how hard they were to find. And now they've went back to 1,000 for this Brody Lee figure. And the only way you can obtain this figure is if you are attending San Diego Comic-Con yourself. You cannot get this online or anywhere else. The only way you're going to be able to get it is in hand at the event if you're going to San Diego Comic-Con. If you're going there and you want to help out, I greatly appreciate it, man. I was not able to get my ducks in a row to be able to, to attend SDCC, so if anybody wants to make a deal or a trade or something for this Brody Lee figure and you're going to the con and you can grab one or two or whatever the case is, I will gladly purchase or trade for one of those but the only way you're going to be able to get it is if you know somebody going you're going yourself or you are going to purchase it in the aftermarket which i do not know what that will be but i imagine it's going to be insane i know the Brody lee chase figure was up there and then it came down drastically but now that you have this one of 1000 out there this one right here is probably going to be the most sought after because it is exclusive because it's hard to obtain because there's only a thousand of them this one right here is going to be one that is pretty damn hard to get your hands on it is not available online a lot of people are upset about that as well and it's because they said that it's just because they didn't have it set up it was more I, i'm pretty sure they just did not see this coming or they weren't entirely fully ready for this event and ready to release this exclusive so that is why this ended up happening but this Brody Lee figure is really awesome I'm glad that it ended up being something that I actually want uh, I was kind of bummed out when it was just the regular unmatched series 3 Brody because it's underwhelming it's like disappointing like what is that you know and I'm, I'm glad that it's actually a real figure that is repainted that, like it's an actual exclusive with nice packaging and stuff like that I am bummed out that I'm gonna have to pay an arm and a leg for it I'm bummed out that it's not, you know, the most exciting thing of all time. And I'm bummed out that I can't just order it online like other exclusives, but at least it is something to try to obtain. You know, that's the way that the cookie crumbles. I imagine next year it'll be a whole lot better. And I plan on being at SDCC next year, so maybe I can get my hands on that one next year. And, you know, it'll be a lot more, you know, a lot better exclusive. But that is the AEW SDCC exclusive, man. Kind of insane. I did not see this one coming when they dropped it on us. I am glad they dropped it on us, though, because I, I like to figure. I do like to figure. Give is kind of a different look. It's going to be really hard to get one of these, let alone two of these. You know, one of 1,000 is absolutely ridiculous, but a lot of the comments that were on this thing were absolutely hilarious. People were losing their minds. People were tripping. They they could not handle it, but it was, it, you know, I agreed with them. I definitely agreed with them just because this is so insane. Everybody was just kind of running around with like a chicken with their heads cut off, not knowing what the hell to do, but 
I think that they reined it back in. And again, there is a pros and cons list. Pros, you know, it's really cool packaging. It is going to be a cool exclusive. It is a repaint. It's actually a new figure. It's not just, you know, the, the same exact figure with different packaging. So that is good. But you can't order it online. It's going to be hard to get. It is one of 1,000. But, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, man. So you, sometimes you just got to build a bridge and get over it. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the video. I wanted to cover this because I thought we literally got the worst SDCC exclusive of all time. I thought that had they released that Unmatched Series 3 Brody by itself, would that have been the worst SDCC exclusive of all time? It would have ranked up there, man. It would have definitely ranked up there simply because I definitely would have put it up there because, you know, it, it's it would have been the third time we've seen that. Had it been the second time, it'd be a lot different. People would be like, oh, yeah, people that missed out on the Unmatched Series 3. But I've seen the Unmatched Series 3 Brody a hundred times. I've seen it a hundred times. It's been widely available. They have done a great job of getting that figure out in rotation. I've seen it everywhere. So if you want that Brody Lee, it is absolutely obtainable. It is easy to get, I would say. I would go as far as to say it is easy to get. So if you guys want that Brody Lee, even the chase has become i mean like as far as chase standards are concerned it's not the most expensive chase it's maybe a little bit middle of the road i got a really good deal on one the other day so i purchased it so i do have the Brody lee chase now I haven't shown that off in a video but that is pretty much gonna wrap up the video man i had to get on here and cover this because i thought it was insane it was just a, a, it was just r ridiculous what did you guys think of this if you guys saw this on on social media yesterday i'd love to know what you guys were thinking during this whole fiasco but before we get out of here, let's get into a random shout-out. And this shout-out's gonna go to Rob Mosher, who says, Loved everything, but that Miro head looks like he farted in a bag and smelled it, then wasn't sure how to feel. That's a classic line right there. That's a classic MDT line. Haven't said that one in a minute, but I thought that was hilarious. So I wanted to give a huge shout-out to Rob for the comment. Always appreciate the funny comments. Always appreciate the, the you know, the, the long-term fans or ones that have been here for a while. Acknowledging the jokes in the long time, you know, Easter eggs and things of that nature. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Are you guys gonna try and grab this Brody Lee down in the comments? section below please let me know but i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one sdcc is days away man we're so close we are so close we're literally like five days away so get ready for it we're gonna cover it here on the channel let's get it you cross the line.